is a very worrying thing, the issue of the uh, job losses in the mortgage sector. More so because when you look uh, at um, the regulations in terms of the, there are no regulations because of the preferential trade agreements. We signed the preferential trade agreement with AGOA, with the United States, the AGOA agreement. We have signed one with the European Union. And now, what is unfair about this is that, firstly, their own farmers are subsidized by, by their governments. Ours are not subsidized by our, by our own government. And their own governments deliberately go out and look for markets for their own farmers. We have some farmers who are subsidized, and we have an active government that goes out and look for markets. We have our farmers who are not subsidized. We have our government that is not really actively seeking markets for our own farmers. So that is where the, 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 the imbalance uh, emanates from. It's something that we all have to really reflect on and, 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 and take a step back because the agricultural sector is the sector that we have all agreed that is the sector that we hope it will help us to have unemployment going forward. So it doesn't make sense for us to allow that sector to implode. For example, the debate around the, 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 the sugar tax, it is directed at that very same industry. So if we are going to have government failing to support farmers, failing to ensure that that industry creates jobs, at the same time, taxing the very same industry in other, in other areas, then we won't have any agricultural uh, sector left. So the position of course actually is that government needs to sit with all social partners. We do have proposals in terms of how to rescue that uh, industry. Because funny enough, one of the few things that has happened in this country is that we've allowed monopolies and cartels to dominate these sectors including the poultry industry. It is dominated by big players where the emerging uh, poultry farmers have failed to really uh, 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 crack it, 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 to crack it up and, and become part of that industry. So what we need to do now is to use this as an opportunity to bring in those emerging farmers and help them to seek alternative markets. That is what we need to do. So, for example, we are aware that in uh, areas like Northwest, in areas like Limpopo, in areas like KZ10, there are factory, there, 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 there are poultry farms that are shutting down. We think that government has to find a way of subsidizing emerging small black farmers to take over those industries, including cooperatives, including communities, and then help them with financing, help them to ensure that they've got uh, 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 easy access to finance, help them with training, and then help them to seek markets outside of this country. Because we, we, we are actually a victim of our trade agreements with Europe and the US. We do not work uh, 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 together with our African counterparts. That is an issue that we have to address. It can't be that Africa becomes this dumping ground where none of its people can even afford these cheap uh, uh, chickens coming from we need to start working with other African countries and other developing countries to see how can we trade and ensure that we create jobs for our people and feed our people healthy chicken. Now, the Association of Meat Importers and Exporters of South Africa has come out saying that the problem is not the imports because they only account for 14%. The problem is that South Africa has a lack of an export program. Do you agree with this? Yes, to a certain extent, yes. Uh, that we don't have an export program because we, we have since convinced each other that when it comes to exporting, we have to export to the US or we have to export it to China, we've exported to the EU. We have to start looking. We have a billion population in this continent alone, a billion population. So it can't be that we say there is no market out there. We are just not paying attention. We have to start thinking 
outside of the box. But the problem is that the 14% imports that are coming to South Africa are subsidized imports, which means those farmers, they, they are not even looking at making a profit because they've got subsidies that are propping them up. Unlike our farmers who struggle with really uh, uh, getting access to finance, we are the only developing country that has not paid particular attention to actually ensuring that we have a state uh, financial institution that help small businesses to grow. In this country, we have got something like five big banks. They, are, they run a monopoly, they operate like a cartel. When small businesses are trying to get access to finance, they realize how difficult it is. So we need to explore the resolution of the ANC and the position of the Federation that we need a state bank that will help this country with this developmental agenda. And this sector is not going to thrive, not going to go forward if we think that we are going to leave our vulnerable farmers, especially the emerging farmers to be the victims and, and the whims of the market. Because we, we, we ourselves have done this to ourselves. We have not actively tried to promote emerging farmers, firstly. Because the ones now that are collapsing, they themselves have been the biggest beneficiaries of, 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 of the monopoly system that operates in this country. And no one is asking, how come is that for so many decades you've been making money and all of a sudden you are abandoning the workers and walking away? That on its own should tell us that this current arrangement and system is not sustainable. So what we, because one of the things that we have seen is that these companies leave South Africa and go outside. It's not that they are leaving South Africa. They, they are already expanding. So what they do, they shut facilities and, 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 and factories in this country and expand in other countries. So what we need to do is to support our workers, is to support our communities, is to support our uh, small businesses by ensuring that we come up with a state bank that will look after the interest of the uh, 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 emerging businesses but that will also help this government 